if you want to persuade individuals or audiences to take action, the first step is to get them to agree, first of all, that there is a problem, and second, what the problem specifically is. If you can do this, then there is no pushiness. There's no persuading people against their will. That doesn't exist because they see that there's an issue that needs to be solved. I call this shining a light on the gap. But the problem I see with most presenters and salespeople is they present a problem, but they don't always get agreement from the, the listener or the audience. So they're constantly having to push, to cajole, to convince. And that's exhausting. And you cannot persuade people by making them change their minds. It doesn't work that way. So what we have to do is get agreement as soon as possible in our presentations. When I was a financial planner, I would talk to people up front and say, would you agree that there is an issue with your retirement plan? Yes. Then we would dive a little deeper and, and fill what I, start to create what I call that gap. You want to be here, but you're here, and you don't know how to get from here to there. <laughs> so getting them to agree makes sure that you're in alignment along the way. And it's very simple. Just ask some questions. And if they say no, don't proceed with your presentation, with your sales talk, because they're going to resist you from that point forward. Get them to agree, nod their head, say yes, that's the problem. Then it makes the rest of the presentation fall in line with solving that problem.